Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. So, uh, you know, struggled last couple of days and, uh, and, you know, I was having a hard time uh, turning to God and turning to the Bible. But once I turn to the Bible, man, God will never let you down. And, man, I, whew, Holy Spirit, I love me some God. I love me some Jesus. And I love y'all, too. And I even love my enemies. You know, that's one of my uh, uh, deals here is uh, unconditional love. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's easier for me to do that because, you know, I sought God's face. God showed up. He showed me. I experience unconditional love. So, you know, it's easier for me to uh, to love unconditional. And also, you know, uh, before that happened, you know, uh, I was taught to uh, to deflate my ego. And uh, so to be, uh, when you deflate your ego, which is very painful, but it's very useful, you know, to uh, mature spiritually because uh, it opens up the door for for your spirit to, uh, to take charge. Uh, and uh, that's, you know, uh, that, that's a very big step and it's a very painful step. And, and truth does that. Truth will, you know, as long as you roll with truth, it'll do a job on that ego because the ego is edging God out. So, you know, uh, let's edge God out and, and have God in because, you know, we've been in this material world, you know, we've been taught to, to be led by our ego and, and you know, and, and leaders want us to fight each other. So, you know, we don't pay attention to what they're doing. But uh, uh, but God said, you know, uh, then they want us to be fearful. And, you know, a lot of, I used to be fear driven, but now I'm love driven. And uh, and uh, so uh, I'm more useful for God. And God said he's changed the world from fear back to love. So uh, ego is all about fear, but spirit is all about love. So, you know, let's defeat that ego and, and, let, and, and put things in its rightful order because the ego wasn't supposed to be uh, the head of, of our being, the spirit is. So uh, let's let's deflate that ego and, uh, and and let love reign. Praise God. But this is what God led me to last night when I turned to the Bible and I turned to God. And uh, you know, uh, Satan was fighting me left and right. But uh, when I woke up this morning, he started he he started crying because uh, he knew he can't stop this. You know, they can only slow me down a little bit. But they can't stop this. I got God's words. And nothing stronger than God's words. Come on, y'all. Get God's words. Seek his face. Let him tell you a few things. He told me a few things. But you could, you know, what's he got to tell you? You got to seek his face to get his words. Praise God. This is Job uh, 12, uh, starting here at 2. You people really know everything, don't you? And when you die, wisdom will die with you. Well, I know a few things myself. And... You'll know better than I am. And, and you're, no, you're no better than I am. Who doesn't know these things you've been saying? Yet my friends laugh at me. For I call on God and expect an answer. I am just and blameless man. You know, the, uh, a just man will fall many times, but he gets back up. So, you know, uh, I've, I've, I've fallen so many times in my life. It must be a million times. You know, I've, I've struggled with, you know, the addiction and, and, and porn and stuff. And I've, I've turned back to God. And, and God has forgiven me every time because he knows my heart. He knows I'm not going to give up. You know, that's what Holy Spirit said. Just don't give up. You know, uh, he, he don't condemn me or, or give me a, a, a timetable. He just said, don't give up. And he consoles me and, 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 and he heals me. Uh, cause you know, when I turned to this, this, when I picked up the Bible, and I turned to this, it was the same thing. He didn't, he wasn't putting me down. He was letting me know, you know, I'm right here with you and, and, and it's okay. Just, just don't stay down. Cause I know your heart. I know you're trying and he knows your heart. He knows you're trying and he knows you're going to fail, but, but he, he, that's already in the equation. God already knows. But you know, if we keep, uh, if we keep striving to the mark, we will succeed. You know, because uh, uh, a, a person that wins don't, don't ever fail. They just don't stop. They just don't give up. So don't give up and be a winner. Praise God. They, uh, people, let me see. A just man and blameless man. Let me see. Let me see. Yet my friends laugh at me, for I 
Call on God and expect an answer. I am a just and blameless man, yet they laugh at me. People who are at ease mock these, mock those in trouble. Let me read that one again. People who are at who are at ease mock those in trouble. Well, I've been mocked and, and hated and, and everything, but but you know I got God's love, and so you know that sustains me. You know when when you got God's words and His love, it don't matter what the world uh, says or does to you. Because you're covered by the blood of Jesus and, and, and God has his arms around you and he's going to fight for his children. And, you know, and that's another thing, too. You know, people want to, you know, why I, I don't, you know, speak about what I'm going through and stuff. Because, you know, when I when I do that, you know, I, I uh, I'm i fighting and and, uh, and God takes his hands off. And, you know, this is uh just like in college football. This is transfer portal uh, season. And uh, so, you know. We want to uh, transfer some of those uh, members that's on Satan teams on God team. So, you know, so when I, I let God fight, you know, he, he he's working at transfer portal. And uh, so, you know, he can transfer some of those souls uh, from Satan, you know, on, on, on to uh, God's uh, glory train. So, you know, so but but if, if I were to, uh, to fight, you know, uh, I was going to, you know, take them out, you know, and uh, so they wouldn't have a chance to uh, transfer. So, uh, you know. God's giving them a chance to transfer, and and uh, it's because He still loves them, you know. Even though they're on Satan's team, you know, he, He's a He's an awesome Father. You can't get no better Father than God. Praise God. People who are at ease mock those in trouble. They give a push to people who are stumbling, but robbers are left at peace, and those who provoke God live in safety, though God keeps them in His power. That's love right there, baby. Just ask the animals and they will teach you. Ask the birds of the sky and they will tell you. Speak to the earth and it will instruct you. Let the fish in the sea speak to you. you see, because God will, will, will speak to us in, in any form. You know, if we look, if we judge, which is a, a product of the ego, uh, you know, uh, that something is... is better than or less than, uh, you know, we're going to miss how God's speaking to us because he can speak to us through anything. He speaks to me through through dogs, uh, animals, you know, TV, uh, a radio, uh, you know, uh, situations, you know, weather, uh, you know, pay attention, you know, because uh, and, and also, you know, like I say, when you're in the ego, you know, you're you're, a, you know, you're you're either in the past or the future. But you know, when, when you're listening, uh, and you're in a present moment. You know, when you're when you're paying attention, and like I say, that's why a meditation is so very vital because uh, it, it it helps you learn how to stay present in the moment. And that's where God, you know, that's where where the power is is in the moment. That's where spirit. That's where you know God always acts is in the moment, not in the past or the future. So uh, be present and get that present. Praise God. For they all know that my Disaster has come from the hand of the Lord. For the life of every living thing is in his hands and the breath of every human being. Uh, this is the uh, synopsis. Job became wiser and wiser because of his pain. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it'll either, pain either tear you down or you can use it uh, to your benefit. And, you know, that's what spiritual, spiritual you know, using, that's what... Uh, Incorporating spiritual principles in your life and, and working the steps does, you know, it helps you to to deal with these things in a spiritual way instead of an ego way or worldly way. And that way you gain wisdom and knowledge from from the pain that you're going through instead of just being, you know, unnecessary pain. You know, it, it could be it could be a growing pain. So use that pain to grow from. Praise God. He understood well the dilemma faced by Zephyr and his companions. People who are at ease mock those in trouble. There was a very comfortable, theirs was a very comfortable theology. If we are good, if we are good, God blesses with wealth and comfort. If we are bad, God punishes with poverty and suffering. But as we see here, their assumptions were far from the truth. But Job knew that he was innocent and wrong in, of wrongdoing. 
yet he suffered greatly. He's, his suffering gave him the perspective he needed for a better understanding of God and the way he works in our world. Unlike his friends, Job knew that suffering was not always a punishment for sin. Like Job, we, we should use our difficult times to lead us to a deeper understanding of God. So, you know, use that negative stuff in your life and, and, and incorporate spiritual uh, principles in your life because those are tools in our tool bag of love and, and they help us, you know, to, uh, to understand and get closer to God and to use, you know, the negative things to our good because, you know, all the times, you know, that I've been attacked, you know, it's done nothing but made me stronger. You know, it might knock me down for a moment, but it won't ever keep me down because I'm on a mission from God. It can't nothing stop what my father, father spoke over my life. And I'm not giving up. So say you ain't got a chance and we coming for you. And then we try to get some of those uh, members off your team on God's team, the winning team. So, you know, they can uh, they can have salvation and, and be a winner with us and, and, and get that glory train with God. Praise God. But anyway, that's all I have today, family. Let love reign in your life. There's no relationship greater than the one with our glorious creator. Thank you for watching. I love you. God bless you and have a blessed day. Bye.